Hello there. We're going to be looking at forest school tool maintenance. Um, so we're going to be thinking about what do we need to maintain? Uh, knives and bow saws and loppers um, and also how do we sharpen them? So let's begin with uh, a sheath knife. Now a sheath knife probably needs the most maintenance out of all of the other tools as it is frequently used and uh, bluntens quickly. Now maintaining this knife is really a three-stage process. The first step is to give the knife a good clean. Now I've just got some hot water with some uh, some washing up liquid in here. But I'm just going to use a sponge to just wipe the blade and when I do so it's important that I do so blade facing away from me and if I just go in one direction I'm going to find it much safer and much easier to use. One has to be careful if one comes back with the sponge not to cut yourself on the end. So I like to just move it away, swap hands when I'm swapping sides so the blade's always pointing away from me. Okay. So I've washed the blade. cleaned it up. Now it's time to sharpen the blade. Now a bushcraft knife like this has a beveled edge. Um, I'm going to start by just laying the knife flat on the cutting block. I'm using a diamond uh, sharp cutting block here because it's easy maintenance compared to some of the other tools around. I can also secure it to a base so that it's easier to uh, sharpen away from me. I'm going to start with the knife flat like this, but of course the bushcraft knife has a beveled edge here. So I'm going to start just here, find the, the bevel, and then I'm just going to push away like this. Now when I get to the rounded edge, what I want to do is push slightly to the side and lift my hand slightly up at the end. So it's a slow motion and it's something to do um, repeat many times. I'm now going to make sure that I sharpen the other side of the blade as well. And what I like to do is just swap hands so that I'm always pointing the blade away. Flat edge, find the bevel. Lifting the knife slightly at the end, so I've got the, the knife like that. So now that we've uh, finished sharpening the knife, what I'm going to do lastly is to stop the moisture from uh, getting into the knife and making it rust. I'm going to apply a little bit of oil. Now I've got some uh, linseed oil here. I'm going to just put, apply to a bit of a cloth here. Cloth. 
wipe it off. There we have it. Put the knife away, ready to use another day. Um, next, we're going to have a look at doing the same process with um, a bill hook. Now, um, a bill hook, we would apply the same steps. First job would be to, to just wash um, the blade. Dry that off. Next is to sharpen the blade. And again, a bill hook has a beveled edge. So I'm going to just start light flat. catching on the side there. Carry on with that straight part. Okay, now that I've completed that, what I'm going to do is then, of course, lastly, apply some oil to prevent rust. it. The next item we're going to have a look at is we're going to have a look at the loppers. Now the loppers have a different blade to some of the other cutting devices in that although they do have a beveled edge, this is the blade for the loppers and the bevel is only pointing this way towards this uh, cutting arm here. Um, this arm 
is not actually sharp. It's supposed to be flat and can be rounded over time. And so maintenance of this tool requires flattening this part here and sharpening this part here, just with one beveled edge, not both. So um, as with the other tools, we're going to start with uh, washing it. And then we come to uh, sharpening the, the lockers, okay? Now remember, we are just sharpening this edge and we want the bevel to come up towards this cutting arm here. So this side wants to remain completely flat. The last thing that I want to do is apply some oil. And I'm also going to apply a little bit of oil to this part here um, because if it's not oiled regularly then they can seize up and uh, then it's more unsafe because it can slip uh, so people using the lockers applying a, an unpredictable amount of force to the cut. Okay. Now, the last uh, piece of equipment we're going to look at is the bow saw. Now, although it is possible to sharpen the bow saw using uh, a metal file, um, it is quite technical and um, often better results from replacing the blades. Uh, most bow saws do come with replacement blades as well, and so it's the easiest and safest thing to do going to remove the guard. Now this bow saw doesn't need its blade replacing um, but it has a lever arm to uh, release the blade like so. Um, then the blade can be removed and replaced.
blade replaced. Now, like with the other tools, um, it's important to check the blade itself um, for any uh, dirt. And like with the other tools, we are going to, um, if needed, wash it down. And very careful so as not to ensnare a finger in the um, teeth. When I've wiped it down, I'm also going to apply some oil to the blade. This will help keep it dry and also slightly reduce friction when cutting. So there we go. As with all the tools, when I finished using the tools and finished maintaining them, they'll go back into the lockbox in the designated space. Thank you for watching.